Now we can also view the liver and the right kidney by placing the patient supine. In this case, I will place the probe not subcostal but in the ninth or tenth intercostal space. We will have to place the probe either into the ninth or into the tenth intercostal space and then pivot it. This is what I am getting from this view. Part of the kidney is available. Rib shadow is obscuring the liver parenchyma. So I come a bit downwards to get rid from this rib shadow. And I may have to go oblique in between. This is the line of intercostal space. I may have to pivot the probe in this direction. Now how do we get it? I have placed the probe in the ninth intercostal space. I am getting this view which is not appropriate for me. I take the probe straight or upwards. This is the ninth intercostal space along the subcostal. This is the subcostal region. This is the ninth intercostal space and I am getting only a part of the right kidney. To get a bit more of the right kidney, I will have to angle it a little. I have to angle the probe straight and I get a better view of the right kidney. Number hello. One other way is ask the patient to take a deep breath and then bring the probe downwards and see if you can get a better view of the right kidney. So while doing this it makes no difference. So let's just go back to the previous scanning plan. That is patient taking breath quite ninth intercostal space I am and angling the probe a bit not much to get a view uh, here I was in the ninth intercostal space then I pivoted the probe angled the probe just fit and I was able to get this view, which is sufficient to study the parenchyma lacrogenesis like difference between the liver and the right kidney. In doing so, now let us see what do we really get in this scanning plan. This is the capsule of the right kidney. Below it is the parenchyma, this black area. And here to the, or above this capsule of the right kidney, this small area is the liver. This is the liver. So now if we compare the echogenicity of the of the liver with that of the right kidney we can clearly see the difference. And the difference is that the parenchymal echogenicity of the liver is slightly more than compared to that of the parenchyma of the right kidney. So, and 
this is the part of the diaphragm. The outer surface of the liver smooth. Liver equigenicity is homogeneous. It's slightly more as compared to the right kidney parenchyma. So this, from this scanning plan, we can also make out the difference between the echogenicity of the liver and that of the right kidney. Comparing these two, the organs echogenicity is important, is of great importance that we will learn in the video segments explaining the pathologies.